goes right around. Hey guys, Rich here at RC Informer. Uh, we're here in the cold, blistery, 50 to 60 degree Orlando weather here, or Florida weather. So uh, we got the new uh, 1700 millimeter La Patrona F7F Tiger Cat. Guys, this is our first flight out. We have not flown it yet. This is the silver version. You guys have seen me fly in the blue airplane. Uh, it's pretty much the ultimate warbird on the market. And uh, you can also get it in this air racer version. I really like the silver. If you got a lot of dark backgrounds you fly in, silver stands out a whole lot better and the silver is actually really good in the sunlight too it tends to not blister quite so much but anyway steve you ready to go okay. all right i got this thing uh, powering it up now uh, i'm going to go ahead and plug it in here and get this thing going i'm going to be running a quantum telemetry unit on guys like i usually always do just to kind of track the battery here and get the get an idea of the flight time and the amp draw and all that stuff the quantum telemetry is really really nice uh, it really tracks everything and it has a 100 amp uh, limit on it. Uh, we'll let it boot up here. Sounds like they're both synced up. We'll give it a little bit of throttle. Sounds like they're working well. Steve, if you want to zoom in there real fast, just on the battery area. I'm running a Predator 5000 milliamp uh, 45C pack. I think it's about, geez, I think I've had the battery about two years now. So and it runs well and everything. You don't need anything special, but obviously you can put a bigger battery in. I pushed it all the way to the front. The CG seems to work out real nice there. And uh, we are plugged in, pretty much ready to go. Snap the battery latch on there. Let's power it up. And we'll do a quick pre-flight check here. There we go. I got quantum telemetries up there. We're at 25 plus volts. I'm going to flip this thing upside down, just pre-flight everything real quick. Uh, Steve, if you want to zoom in on the three landing gears there, I'll go ahead and cycle and make sure they're working nice. Um, this is probably the nicest scale gear. I know you guys have probably seen this in some of my prior videos, but right out of the box, it's working really nice. I didn't have to tweak or do anything to these things. And uh, wind will close those up, but uh, really nice gear, all over center brace driven. And there we go. Usually when I go to fly this thing, I'll check the over center braces, make sure that they're all locked because that's what holds it in place. It's really like full-scale airplane landing gear, guys. So you really want to make sure that over center brace is uh, locked in place right here on all three. Uh, I'll do a quick pre-flight check. Just make sure all the ailerons are working. Elevators are working. we got dual ball links. Everything looks like it's set up right. We'll do a quick uh, flap check here, guys. Steve, if you want to get down there, I'll go ahead and uh, extend our flaps. One setting for takeoff, one for landing. Even though this airplane actually takes off better without any flaps at all. So... Uh, Anyway, let's go ahead and do a quick flight control check. And let's see, right aileron, left aileron, up, down. A couple things I mixed in. If you notice my aileron's moving, I have a mix set in for the rudder. Notice how the rudder, Steve, can you get that in there? I got a little bit, 15% rudder mixed in with my ailerons. It kind of augments the roll a little bit. And uh, not that you need it, but it does actually help out a little bit with the the speed of the roll on this airplane. So we'll do a quick engine run up here. I'm trying to keep this video as real time as we can for you guys. All right, that's putting out plenty of power. All right, I think the wind's dying down on us, Steve, here. Can you get in on that telemetry? Can you see it okay? Is it focusing? Okay, 24.92 volts. We've used 258 of it so far because I had it on. We had the thing running before, so. Anyway, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. We'll taxi it on out here. And uh, Steve, we're just going to use, a, I think, a regular pattern here. The wind is shifting on us a little bit, but right, left, up, down. And let's see. 80% on the elevator. I'll set that up. That seems to be about the best place for it. Ailerons, I got those at full rate, guys. Lots of travel in those. Here we go. We'll taxi on out. 
zero flaps. Actually, Steve, I tell you what, the wind has shifted on us. See the wind sock out there? Yep. It keeps changing on us like every two seconds here. Let's go out here, we'll take off in this direction here. We'll go from left to right. Variable winds today, guys. Gears coming up. I'll power it back a bit. Again, guys, no flaps on the takeoff of this thing. It just seems to take off much better with uh, with zero flaps. With the flaps in, it has a very abrupt rotation, which you really don't want. Uh, and I'm going to trim it back a little bit. It's nosing down on me just a little bit. We'll get that all set up. It's very windy today. Steve, let me put flaps in, full flaps. I'll come by slow. Yeah, that wind has shifted even more out of the north, Steve, so. Mm -hmm. Nice and slow. All right, Steve, I'm gonna go back to a runway pattern, I think, and see how that works out. I'm gonna come down the runway this way. We were taking it off diagonally there a little because of the wind. Actually, that may actually be better now that the shit's shifted a bit. Coming down nice and slow. Powering up. The roll rate is out of this world. One thing they did with these new airplanes, because this is the newest one off the production line, is they put a longer aileron arm on there. So this thing actually has quite a tremendous roll rate now with the new longer arm. Yeah, we'll go straight up with it. Yeah, I mean, look at that roll rate. It, it never used to really roll that fast unless you put a lot of throw in it. But outstanding. What do you think, Steve? Nice. What's your favorite color? The blue or the uh, silver? I still like the blue. Yeah, I think the blue one does look cool. But if you fly with trees in the background, you have a very dark background, this one will stand out a little bit better. It's a little better in the sun. Man, that hauls, doesn't it? It does. Holy smokes. Turn it around tight. Tiger Cat turns very tight too. Very forgiving airplane. Very easy to fly, guys. Anybody that can fly a tricycle gear landing gear airplane will love flying this airplane. It's very easy. Look at that roll rate, Steve. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, just a little extra aileron throw gives that to you. I mean, it really is impressive. And they did that on the newer versions of the airplane. Just a longer arm for the most part. Look at that. That just rolled right out, didn't it? There was just no hesitation at all. All right, not bad for the maiden flight, huh? All right, let's see. Let's bring this back around and see what we got going on here. Coming by fast. Wow, that thing really moves. Oh, you got it? Or the man. All right, let's bring it on in here. Fast again. Man, that moves right along. Let me give you an inverted pass here, Steve, coming from this side. Okay. Man, that goes right around. I'm so busy at work, guys, I don't have time for test flying and maidens. We just do it here and fly it. <laughs> so, here, let's bring it around here. Try not to hit the windsock. That's impressive. <laughs> I am best, I tell you what, I'm beside myself over that roll rate. I mean, just putting a slightly longer arm in there really makes this thing roll a whole lot better. Let's go straight up with it, Steve. Just hold it up there and power it back and just tail slide it. I tell you what, man, it has some power. I'm real impressed. Let's see what we got for power. I'm at 2,800 on the milliamps here. Here we go. Let's bring it around fast. I'm going to try and bank into the camera here for you, Steve, on the top side. There we go. Yeah, that moves right along. You getting all that, Steve? Yep. This looks like good stuff, good material. 
All right, full flaps are in. Come by slow, powering it up to about a third to a half throttle. It is crosswindy here, guys. And with a big dihedral like this, when that gives you crosswind, it causes a little bit of rocking. Full power, straight up, flaps up. Look at that go, wow. All right, Steve, I'm gonna give you a landing right out front and then probably a takeoff to follow. Let's see, full flaps are in. I'm gonna try and get it nice and slow on the landing. It looks like we got three green there. Mm -hmm. All right, nice plane to land. Nice wide landing gear, nice long wheelbase. Full flaps are in, we're at 3,300, so Max effort takeoff. You ready, Steve? Let's go. All right, full flaps three. This is what it looks like with full flaps, just for a power demo for you guys. Here we go, full throttle. <laughs> 20 feet. Yeah, I mean, it's like nothing at all. I mean, it's amazing the performance of this airplane. All right, gears coming up. Power it back a little bit, let that gear come up on its own without too much wind crossing it. Coming by fast. I just, my favorite plane, Steve, this is it. There you go. All right, I'm gonna give you a gear pass here. You ready? Yep. All right, landing gear's coming down. I hit the switch. Let it cycle on down right in front of you there. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And let's go ahead and land it just the direction I just did. Full flaps are in again. A little aggressive for a baiting flight, but hey, you know. Bring it out. Yeah, I mean, it's just, well, we've flown enough of these now since we've got a couple of them here. Touchdown, flaps coming up. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Just uh, outstanding airplane overall. First flight, good maiden flight. We kind of really ran it through its whole ringers and everything. Steve, I'll give you a quick shot here of the telemetry. That's probably about as far. Can you focus on that? Right yeah. there. Yeah, a 3,800, 3,900 on a 5,000 pack, that's right at almost about 80%. It's probably about as far as you want to go. But uh, anyway, guys, just an outstanding airplane. This to me is, uh, uh, I can say it with a smile. It's probably the finest Warbird on the market. It has beautiful, look at that landing gear, Steve. Look at it compress as I drive it. All shock absorbing, all aluminum landing gear. Really nice airplane, guys. Anyway, uh, Check it out, guys. I appreciate you watching RC Informer. Steve, uh, thanks for the uh, really great filming. And uh, I'll be looking for this. We're going to bring this out to Joe Nall, guys. We'll have it out at Seth, Joe Nall, probably E Week. We'll have a bunch of Tiger Cats. Me and Steve will be out there flying, hopefully. But uh, check it out, guys. FMS models, HorizonHobby.com. They carry this thing. It's the baddest world bird around. Anyway, guys, uh, appreciate you watching RC Informer, guys. We'll see you next time.